Ladies and gents, welcome back. With the world moving on from the COVID-19 pandemic, Justin Trudeau is doubling down and threatening Canadians that if they do not have their booster shots taken this fall, that we may end up with more lockdowns and restrictions here in this country. This is from True North. Trudeau says COVID is not done with Canada, urges 80 to 90% of Canadians to get their booster shots. Now, if we look at the statistics before we get into this article, booster shots are at a very, very low uptake. Um, for people who have had their first two shots and then one additional shot, it's at 49% of the population. To Having a fourth shot is at 12.41% of the population here. Now, let's get into the story. Even as countries around the world have moved on from COVID-19 and have learned to live with the virus, Prime Minister Justin Trudeau is threatening Canadians with more restrictions and mandates if 80 to 90 percent of eligible Canadians are not up to date with their vaccines. And we have a video here of him speaking recently. COVID's not done with us yet. We might want to be done with it, but it's still around. And yes, we have a lot more tools, a lot more understanding, a lot more knowledge on how to keep ourselves and our loved ones safe that have allowed us to get back to regular life in a lot of ways for a whole bunch of people. But we also know that as winter comes and as people get pushed back indoors, there is a real risk of another serious wave of COVID. One of the best things we can do to prevent that wave, prevent the pressure on our healthcare systems, prevent provinces from having to take decisions around restrictions and mandates, is to ensure that everyone is up to date in their vaccinations. The recommendation is, you know, you should uh, be up to date in your vaccinations if you have, a, have had a dose within six months. Everyone who has been a while since their vaccination, this vaccination, should look at the fact that we have new vaccines coming out this month that are tailored against Omicron, that will provide better protection, and everyone should get out and get vaccinated. If we are able to hit that 80, 85, 90% of Canadians up to date in their vaccinations, we'll have a much better winter with much less need for the kinds of restrictions and rules that were so problematic for everyone over the past years. But every step of the way, government's responsibility is to keep people safe, to prevent our healthcare systems from getting overwhelmed. And that's where individuals choosing to make sure they're up to date in their vaccinations with these new vaccines is going to help us all. Anyway, this is Justin Trudeau's words here. He's saying, speaking to reporters on Thursday, Trudeau warned Canadians that there's a real risk of serious wave of COVID as this fall begins. And the best way to avoid government restrictions and mandates is to be up to date on COVID shots. So this is based on statistics on how many people have taken their shots not on how um, how overwhelmed any hospitals were we saw from freedom of information requests in canada that the uptick um, i saw recently like just here in british columbia there was no uptick uh, they actually had less hospitalizations during the pandemic than uh with than than there previously was before the pandemic if we were able to hit the 80, 85, 90 percent of Canadians up to date in their vaccinations, we'll have much better winter and much less need for the kind of restrictions and rules that are so problematic for everyone in the past years, said Trudeau. Jan Rupa Sabramania taking to Twitter to say, Justin Trudeau is the only world leader I'm aware of, and at least in the advanced Western world, who is still threatening mandates and restrictions in the fall and winter, if 80 to 90% of Canadians don't get ongoing boosters, Canada is an extreme outlier. The Prime Minister touted the recently approved bivalent vaccines designed to target specific Omicron variant, you know, the one that went through the population last year that everyone has some sort of natural immunity for regardless. Everyone who has it, who has been a while since their vaccination should take a look at the fact that we have new vaccines coming out this month that are tailored against Omicron and will provide for better for protection. And everyone should get out there and get vaccinated, said Trudeau. Health Minister John 
John Yves Duclos echoed the Prime Minister's comment last week comparing vaccinations to recharging your phone battery. You, you can't make this up. I'll save you hearing his voice. Vaccines, here's this quote, vaccines protection is like a phone battery. It needs to be recharged from time to time regarding our protection uh, recharging our protection after six months is important. Otherwise, we are left without power to protect ourselves and our loved ones, said Jean Yves Duclos. Now, here's from um, uh, bwcentral.org. Canada's health minister urges booster shots every nine months for vaccine status to be up to date. What exactly do we mean by up-to-date vaccination? Let me be clear. Up-to-date means you've received your last dose in the past nine months, Duclos said in a press conference on June 30th, meaning we're going to be dealing with government forcing vaccines on people in perpetuity is where we're at now. So if you don't haven't had one in the past nine months, you are no longer considered fully vaccinated by the in the eyes of the government. And you need to get one at least in the last nine months. They're also recommending that you do it every three months, minimum six months. I say you can't make this stuff up. But yeah, we have our statistics here from this is from uh, healthinfobasecanada.ca. So this is an uh, official state uh, official record here. But yeah. Over 85%, I remember this was a higher number, but it dropped when children became eligible for vaccines. The Canadian vaccination rate was up in the 90s, and it still is in a lot of the other provinces. We have the maritime provinces up in the 90s percentile. Uh, but average being out there at at 85% uh, for the first, at least one dose, 82 for two doses, a third dose, 49.57% and a whopping 12% of people got that fourth dose. A lot of people just feeling that that's not what is necessary for them. Now, what will it look like if we go back to COVID restrictions? Most people forget some of the imagery of what some of these COVID restrictions look like. Here is a family in Quebec trying to have a family time having police visit and pull people out of their homes. This is what COVID-19 restrictions look like for Canadians. And lest we forget that this is something that actually went down in our country. And these are the actual uh, incidences that happened at people's homes where police came in for your protection because people aren't social distancing enough they um socially grabbed them and held them down uh pushed them into the snow ripped people out of their family homes uh for the purpose of protecting people from uh not being too close to individuals during a time of um, well, let's just say a scary bug that's going around and uh, it's just nonsense to me. This is just nonsense. But this is what happened. Now, YouTube, according to Tim Pool, uh, is he reported what we're allowed to say on YouTube. The terms of service has changed. So we can now say that social distancing does not work. Uh, so these 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 draconian uh, measures that they took to keep people from seeing their family and loved ones in a time that we were all under lockdown from the government uh, did not help us at all. In fact, it only hurt us. But we're here now worrying about Justin Trudeau reinstating some of these policies. Uh, another one is that we're allowed to say on YouTube now that vaccines do not prevent infection. So you will get immunity from the vaccines. Um, also to note, you will get immunity from catching the virus itself. So uh, Omicron did <laughs> rage through the population last year. And uh, a lot of people did end up catching it. I think a majority of people did end up catching it. So vaccines do not prevent infection. And that is uh, something that is now allowed by YouTube's terms of service. Uh, but they do say that it will make things better if you do catch it. 
and that's just the things you have to say <laughs> in order to uh, get through here. But here we are. Currently, booster uptake has been lower than the primary series of the COVID-19 vaccines. Only 49.57 of Canadians have received an additional to their two primary doses, as we reported here. National Advisory Committee of Immunization, NACI. Yeah, you can't make can't make these things up, folks. This is the NACI party in Canada. Officials say that the quor- quarterly booster may be warranted uh, for individuals. So quarterly boosters <laughs> every three months. <laughs> anyway, let me know what you think of this. In the, in the comment section down below, leave it up to you guys to <laughs> let me know what you think. Um, and uh, yeah, well, make sure you're subscribed to the channel. Hit that like button and we'll see you in the next video. Keep on trucking.